what's going on Aquarius and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so thank you because last readings that I um, pushed out you guys had the highest views so thank you for the love thank you for the support I really appreciate you guys so we're gonna jump into your November reading let's see what's going on with the past present and future now this will be for Sun Moon rising and Venus Aquarius signs so do keep that in mind also keep in mind that the energies could be transferable so it could be your energy that I'm picking up on or it could be the energy of someone or like an environment around you okay all right so Aquarius let's see what the energy is before we get started what is going on with my Aquarians shout out to Aquarian risings that's where I fit into all the mix all right it's funny because I've been meeting so many people with my exact placements. Um, I'm a Taurus Sun, Pisces Moon, Aquarius Rising. So I always think that's very interesting. All right. So what is the energy surrounding Aquarius for November? I feel like just across the charts, and, and not even with signs, I just feel like energetically wise, this is going to be a very powerful month. Okay. All right. So we have the Six of Cups, the Sun card in the reverse, and we have the Fool card. Okay. Energy, guys, is the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords, that's disappointment. That's heartbreak that a person could have gone through. But somehow it's like there's some sort of disappointment that happens but you become strong it's like you kind of become cold towards where that pain came from rather and there's a lot of unhappy uh, there's a lot of happiness that comes in okay with the queen of swords energy that is the aquarius energy okay libra aquarius gemini but this is also someone who is able to think very logically despite what i feel right now even if i'm you know distraught about something i'm still gonna get things done okay so let's see why these cards popped up and then we'll talk about it why is the six of cups here we have the two of wands why is the sun card in the reverse the high priestess why is this full card here queen of swords so guys there's gonna be a very powerful new start okay um I think that there was a very deceptive energy around you um, or maybe something that could have gotten in the way of money or disturbed you financially speaking okay there's something that couldn't be trusted here but I see you guys being at peace now I'm gonna you know from what I see here I'll warn you guys that there could have been some sort of grievance that happened in the past that does try to make its way back I don't see Aquarius going for it at all though okay I see you being very closed off with that but guys this month something is taking off all right if there's any anxiety or worry that goes away completely and with the chariot buckle up because it's gonna happen fast for some of you this could be something that has to do with a like a physical move okay maybe you're changing jobs maybe you're moving somewhere new all right but I think that there's been a lot that's happened and now it's like you're you're very passionate about the path that you're going to take and I see unexpected blessings and even if that blessing hasn't necessarily happened for you yet, I feel like a lot of you feel it. This is going to be a strong month of enlightenment. This is going to be a strong month of um, being able to trust yourself and your spirit. This is, you know, the high priest is someone who's highly in tune. Okay. All right. Let's put three more cards here and then we'll get into the past, present, and future. Knight of Cups. We have the Empress card and the Six of Swords. A lot of you are making good moves, all right? And I feel like there's a lot of emotional stability as well. I think that there is something that may not have worked out, but you guys have so much balance. You have so much peace, okay? There could be a very strong connection that comes in. But something that was a bad idea, bad judgment, you stop building on it, Okay? This is the month where you get a very strong wish fulfillment with the Hierophant. That's beautiful. You're on the path that you're meant to be on. Hierophant is destiny. It's what we're born to do. It's who we're born to be. And you guys are on that path, okay? So I see a lot of incredible new beginnings. And when I say new guys, 
this is unmarked territory. This is probably something you haven't done before. Okay, or maybe someone you haven't done before. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get into the past, present, and future, and I will keep this PG-13 best I can. All right. So past, present, and future. What is going on? For my lovely Aquarius. This deck that I'm using, guys, is uh, Tarot of the Divine. One more card here. Perfect. All right. So the energy we have here is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. This is followed by the Page of Wands, the Empress card in the reverse, and then the Ace of Coins. So there's definitely a transition that I see here. I think that there is a lot of unreliable energies in your past. Um, there could have been things that made you emotionally, like you were kind of like, um, what's the word for it? I think it's unrest, but you were kind of in a place where you it's like you could have been all over the place there could have been a lot going on with you and especially for those who were kind of wrapped up in things that sounded good but they truly weren't good um that's that's ending or has ended it's like you don't go towards that and you put yourself on a path where it's just like look I saw this for what it was this wasn't working um either there's energies that couldn't be trusted or it's just like, I wasn't emotionally good here. Okay, I just wasn't. And you remove yourself from that, and then you get yourself on a path where it's just like, oh shit, yeah, I can do this. Um, whether it's new business or any sort of new moves you guys are making, this is going to be something that is there for you for a long time. Okay, this is not something that comes and goes the next week. This is something that can be relied on. If this has to do with work, this is something where you're creating generational wealth. You can pass this down to the kids. The kids can pass it down to their kids and so forth, okay? So you're definitely moving away from unreliable energies and getting your shit very stable, okay? Now let's start with the past, guys. We have the Nine of Cups, Three of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Three of Cups, all right? So there's a lot of fun and celebration here. Um, there's certain things that you're just not building on anymore. There's certain things that I don't feel you're waiting on anymore. And I feel like things are a good time. I feel like, um, you know, you guys could have been spending a lot of time with friends or family. But I do see good times here. Let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Four of Swords in the reverse. We have the Strength card and the Nine of Coins in the reverse. So I kind of see like a breath of release after going through something that could have been a hard time for you. Um, there was something that you guys invested yourself in where it just depleted you. It really just depleted you. And it's something like where you tried your hardest to just endure something, but you get to that point where it's like, look, I, I just, I couldn't anymore. The queen of coins in the reverse, guys, is in my opinion, the last queen that will get in the reverse because it's the queen that will endure the most. So it's a situation where you endured the most and it's just like, I, I couldn't do it anymore. So I had to protect myself from that. And with the world card, you have created something for you that is very powerful, that is very significant, that is very good. All right. Now, because of what you're cutting out, because of what you're protecting yourself from, because of what you're not going towards, you're strong and you see something for what it is. And when I was saying, you know, that whole, like, relief thing, think of it as a situation where, like, let's say you, you were questioning someone you were dating, okay, and you just didn't know what was going on with them, you felt like something was off, 
and it's like you have this anxiety for months but then you see a picture or you get a phone call and it's like look they've been with so and so and this is what's been happening so it's not that you're necessarily happy about that but it's like okay I'm relieved because I see this for what it is I know the truth I can breathe I can move on so it's like I, I see someone that's just like happy at this point whether it was a good or bad circumstance, it's like you're you're relieved to know the truth and to see what it is and to be able to move on. So it's like, I'm no longer going to build on this. All right. So why is this three of wands reversed? Let's find out. <clears throat> why is this three of wands in the reverse? Six of swords in the reverse. Seven of cups in the reverse. For some of you, it could have been very difficult, emotionally speaking, after seeing the truth. For others of you, after seeing the truth or while knowing the truth, it could have been hard to leave the circumstance that you were in, okay? So for some of you, it's like, you know, maybe you were at a job that you really, really, really hated and you're trying to get a new job. So it's like, you already know you want a new job, you're looking for a new job or whatever but maybe it's just taking longer than expected so it's just like oh my god this journey is so difficult like why can't i just get to the next level you know why can't i get to that next step so it's like it was difficult getting there but it, it was coming and then something happens where you pop that bottle of champagne this happened for me you know i i got to the next level it wasn't easy but here i am why is this three of cups here? We have the magician, and this was all you guys. The magician, she or he holds all the elements, okay? Sword, cup, pentacle, um, wands. This is someone who can create and manifest something all on their own. So any grievance that you felt, you're over it. You overcame something strong, Aquarius. Um, and you really put yourself in a mode where I think that you were very empowered. I think that you made something happen and it was very reassuring. It's like, okay, I can do that. I'm capable of doing this and it's good. All right. Um, and I think that you're in a place where you're working hard and you're very protective over yourself. Okay. For a lot of you, you're, it's like what you, how do I want to say this? I think that you were fueled by, it's like, what's a good example for this? Because I, I want this to come out right. I don't know if you guys know who Lisa Nichols is, but I, I'm like huge on motivational speakers. I'm huge on like TED Talks. Like that's my dream. I Like I really want to do a TED Talk one day. But um, she had this... Uh, which she had this speech that she did where she talks about her being a single mother and she said that there is one day where she needed pampers okay she only had eleven dollars in her account and at the time the minimum was 20 so she had to wrap her baby up in like a cloth or something like that and she said when I looked at my bank account and I saw that eleven dollars I promised myself that I would never, ever, ever be in that position again. And I think that you guys were so stuck on a time where you fucked up or a time where you didn't have what you needed. So it's like that stayed there. And a lot of the time we don't want to think about bad things. But I think that sometimes it could be a little healthy to remind ourselves of the positions that we can be in when we don't do the work. When we're not on top of our shit. So I think that there was something that kept motivating you that had to do with lack or that had to do with a time where um, you just didn't have the things that you needed. And it's like, I know what that feels like and I refuse to feel that again. So that's a really, really strong thing for you. Okay. Um, and I think that that created change. Okay, and something similar recently happened to me where it's just like I put myself in, in a place of lack and I am so certain, you know, knock on wood, but I'm so certain that 
you know, if if something like that happens again, it's because of something beyond me. It's because I'm in a coma for a few months or, it's, you know, God forbid, you know, I'm praying myself. I'm praying for good health. But if anything ever fails for me in the future, it's not going to be because it was my fault. It's, it's going to be a force that is greater than me or something that I just couldn't control. But it won't be because I didn't show up. It won't be because I didn't try. Okay. So it's it's that sort of energy where it's like we know what lack feels like and we refuse to lack again. Okay. Now in the present moment, guys, we have the king of coins in the reverse, the king of swords, and the ace of swords in the reverse. Okay. Um, I love that the king of swords is the center here. When I see a center card, that is the core energy. That's what everything ties into. So that's Aquarius and its strongest energy. So there were certain things where maybe something was causing you to lose money or maybe there was a situation where you or another person was not genuinely invested in something and even though it was conflicting you let it go you are so empowered right now it's like aquarius knows exactly who they are aquarius knows exactly what they want in life aquarius knows exactly how to get it and aquarius knows exactly how to cut someone or something off if it's not going to help them to get to that point okay so i see you guys putting you first okay um, and again, we have to keep remembering. I, I think that there's something that it's like, what's it called when um, when you like brand yourself or something? Like it's in your skin. It's like there's there's going to be that constant reminder, okay? Why is this King of Coins reversed here? Ace of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Coins. Wow, guys, that's powerful. Um, I choose to never settle again. Okay? If it's not something I'm genuinely invested in, I'm not going to go for that path. You guys are not settling. You guys are saying, this is what I want, and I'm not going to settle with this. I'm just not. If this is what I want, this or this is what I get. But it's never going to be this. You have set the standard. You will not go below that standard. You will succeed. You know what's unacceptable for you and you're not going to accept it. Okay? I like that. Even if that means working in silence. Okay? You guys are going to go after what it is that you want. And you guys are willing to wait. Okay? Um, you know, if this has to do with love for some of you. This is sort of that mindset where it's like, I'm not going to fall into something just because I'm bored or because I'm lonely. I'm willing to wait. Whether it's weeks, months, years, I'm willing to wait for that real deal. I'm willing to wait for those butterflies. I'm willing to wait to experience what love should be, okay? Center card, King of Swords, why is this here? Oh, and these cards drop too. We have the Two of Swords. The Lover's card. Um, I think that right now there could be something like a sort of decision that you're struggling with. I will say that a majority of you have the upper hand. The, the decision is completely on you. Do you want it or do you not? Okay. So whether it's a love interest, whether it's a job, or whether it's like a path, it's kind of like the room is just quiet and looking at you and saying, look, whatever you decide is what it is. The, the ball's in your court, Aquarius. All right. And there, you know, I always say it's healthy to focus on what we can control and not to be offended or affected by the things that we cannot control. And I think that you guys have that mentality, like, look, if it brings a lot of bullshit and it's something that I can't control at all, I can't change the narrative, I can't make it better, I'm just going to walk away. This is so powerful, guys. This is saying I, I can create whatever I want, I can get whatever I want, and if I can't make a situation better, then I'm moving away, all right? That's some good shit, guys. And because you have that attitude, what comes in? Success. You're building something strong. Okay. All right. So lastly, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Let's see why this is here. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Ooh. 
and we have the four of coins in the reverse. So if there was something that was conflicting, guys, I see you protecting yourself from it and I see you healing from it. Okay. So I, I see a sense of surrendering to the things that you cannot control in this world, but also knowing that we create our own realities, you know? So you, you guys are showing up. You guys are putting effort into things that are going to help you build. You're not accepting a standard that is, you know, something you don't want. You know, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to work like that. Okay. All right, guys. So let's look at the future. We have the Justice card, Ace of Wands in the reverse, Two of Cups in the reverse. For a lot of you, there's karmic endings. Okay. What is this about? Justice card. Nine of Coins in the reverse. Empress card in the reverse. Yeah, there is something that was draining you. But guys, with this justice card here, there is something that you were supposed to learn from this. And whatever was draining you, whatever karmic chapter you had to go through, it's over, guys. Okay? Um, so you're able to let go of a very huge burden. There's a toxic chapter that's being closed out. And you learned a lot. The worst that could have happened has happened. It's all up from now, guys. All right? But again... I don't want you guys to ever forget what, you know, what got you there. Um, and, you know, again, I don't want it to be something that's like a fear factor. Like, oh, shit, you know, that could happen again. I want you to be empowered. Like, I know how that can happen, and it's not going to happen. Okay? I already learned. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Why is this here? Page of Wands. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, you guys are just standing strong because, again, there's things in this world that sound pretty, but we know better. So if there's anything that emotionally threw you off, if there's something that couldn't be trusted, again, it's being dropped. There's success and you're building so strongly, okay? And whatever got you to the point, like, I feel like there's something you try to endure for as long as possible. But your soul didn't, it's like your soul didn't want part in this. You were just so, so tired and it's over. The burden is over. Okay. And with the world card, a very positive chapter comes in of success. Okay. So two of cups in the reverse. What's being dropped here? Ten of cups in the reverse. Six of Cups in the reverse. You guys are putting misery in the past. You're putting fighting in the past. And there's that strong sense of, you know, I, I can't control everyone. I can't control the environment sometimes. But you're okay with that. So that's beautiful. There's a hardship that it's, it's just not there anymore. You get past it. And you succeed beautifully. And you're always going to have... You know, that thing in the back of your mind of, I know what it feels like to be that low. And I know that it is within my control to not be that low. I can choose who I hang out with. I can choose who I date. I can choose how my work ethic is every day. And I just don't want it to be that anymore. I, I need positive change. Okay. So very powerful, guys. All right, so let's pull some cards of guidance. Guys, if this is resonating with you so far, there is a link in the description below to donate. Thank you so much to those that do. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 I am also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. The spelling for that is in the description as well. All right, so what guidance does Spirit want to give to all Aquarians? What sort of guidance the spirit want to give to Aquarius? Okay, the Ace of Wands fell. Take these two. Page of Coins in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse. Let's start there. The Hermit card in the reverse. All right. Um, I think that for some of you, there's going to be things that are found out that you maybe did not. Like, obviously, you didn't know if you're finding out. But um, there's things that you weren't aware of that you become aware of. 
And in this case, it helps you to recover from something greatly. Okay. Um, so maybe it's like there's some sort of inheritance or something you didn't know about. And then you find out about it and it's like, oh my God, all my financial problems are solved. But there's something that comes to light where it's just like, it, it really helps you out. Um, for others of you, you're really just getting out of your shell and you're ready to tell the world that you're getting out of your shell and you recover greatly, okay? But you guys have this attitude where King of Swords in the verse, Page of Coins in the verse, there's just something you're trying to get off the ground or there is a way, there's just something you were trying to do. It's like, you know, I'm trying my best to succeed in this, but it just, it wasn't working. And, and you tried your best, you tried to make it work, but it just wasn't. And now again, there's that sense of I'm not settling. I just don't. And because you guys have that attitude and you're so stubborn on that attitude and you don't want to change that attitude, it's like, no, I don't, I don't want to compromise anymore. I don't, I don't want to have the short end anymore. Bam. This is what you get. Spirit's like, all right, heard you. And guys, the universe is so giving. You just have to teach the universe what you want, okay? But it's like if you want more money or if you want good love, what are you teaching the universe, okay? Let's say you're, you're stuck on someone who isn't good for you, and it's like even though you know they're not good for you, you, you let them call, you let them see you, you still hang out with them. You're teaching the universe that that is okay. Okay, but now with the guy, with the way you guys are acting, you are not even entertaining things that aren't to your caliber, that are not on your level. You're not entertaining it anymore. And the universe is like, okay, I get it. You want more? Here you go. You should have just told me the first time. So how are you guys treating your life? How are you guys treating your actions? What's, what's going on? Okay. Um... And, and be mindful how you guys think and, and how, you, how you speak to yourself. If you catch yourself just like beating yourself up with thoughts, with words, then just literally just stop and start thinking about positive things. We have the full card. This is all new, guys. This is all new that's coming in. This is unmarked territory. You guys haven't been across this before. Six of Cups. The way that you were living in the past, you're not living like that no more. You're changing things completely. Nine of swords in the reverse. You can sleep like a baby at night. You did it. You did it. You got the... Uh, I feel like there's just such a huge milestone that was hit. Okay? That's probably what I'm going to name this. Something that has to do with milestones. But Aquarius, I am so proud of you because this is incredible. And I am so happy that I'm part of this. And I have to say that this resonates. Okay, it definitely does. All right. Um, there's there's so much that's gone down and there's so much that, you know, my audience might not understand, but soon I will be making a video so you guys understand the shit I've overcome in the past few months. But it's it's definitely been a humbling experience. It's definitely been incredible. Um, and we are so blessed and favored right now. Okay. All right. So lastly, guys, I want to pull you guys um, two cards from here. Buddha Wisdom, Divine Feminine. I got this at a healing fair a few weeks back. And I really just love these. All right. So let's pull two cards here for Aquarius. Compassion does not see the faults of others. It does not see the weakness of people. It has no ego. Okay. The force of the flowing river causes the flowers, the herbs, and the trees to grow. The sacred wisdom in your heart has magical power for your spiritual growth. Aquarius, anything that you want is attainable right now. All right. You guys are in the power of creating your reality. What do you want your reality to be? And are you settling for a reality that is not yours? All right. I'm happy I'm part of this, guys. I love y'all so much. If you need your own personal reading, there's a link in the description below for my website. Check it out. There's options there. But I love you guys so much. I will be back with love readings next. Take care.